What's up, Android boys and girls? This is Shinobi123, and I'm gonna do a video for a new emulator. It's uh, for the Super Nintendo. It's called uh, SNESoid or Super Nessoid or SNESoid, however you wanna pronounce it. Super NESoid, but it's right here. It has a Super Famicom uh, controller for the icon. It's um, it's by the same guy who did. Um, for, uh, who did the Nessoid and he did a Genesis 1 Genesoid or something like that it's called so it's really similar uh, it's like the interface is the same so you can hit menu when you get to here and then um, you have the option to open or settings settings has this enable APU the audio processing unit emulation I guess it helps with the sound uh, so you if you turn that off then the sound gets turned off um, key mappings you can choose how you want to set up your controls and this is you can search for ROMs and go to the Android market um, right now the keys are up down left right is up down left right 1 A Q and W and then you can set up down you can set like the diagonal positions if you want select and start and delete and enter so then A and B is uh, what is it it's I guess it's a zero and P is A and B, X Y is nine and O, and then the triggers are K and L. Um, so we can just go back, keep hitting back, and then go to open. I don't have like any amazing. Well, I have a few. I guess Super Mario Kart. I can show you. So if you saved a game, it gives you this once you choose it. Um, so yeah, I'll just hit restore game, or you can hit start new game. But I'll hit restore game. Uh, overall. It's 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 good. It's like it's like Nessoid. It works pretty well. The sound is it's okay. It gets choppy though, and I mean unfortunately it's not perfect, but it's it's a good emulator. Once the gameplay starts, I think the the sound may start getting a little choppy. On different games, it gets kind of choppy sometimes. But yeah, you can hear, I mean, it's, I guess it sounds pretty good, but you hear this, the kind of fuzz. Almost taking over the sound, just kind of taking over the background. Uh, background music. I mean, but overall, it still plays really smooth, I'd say. Uh-oh. Okay. So you can hit back if you want, and that way you can uh, you can quit and save if you want. Or I'll just hit back and go back to the game. I'll show you. If you hit menu, you have save. If you want to save the game, or if you already have a game saved, you can hit load and go back to where you saved it. You can go to settings, reset, close. So I'm just going to hit close. And um, I'll show you another game or two. Open. Uh, it's always fun. Um, I'll start a new game. But again, again, the same thing. The screen, like Nestle, this screen is kind of stretched a little bit to fit to the uh, G1 screen. But I mean, you don't really notice it. It looks fine. I know there's another, um, some other developers working on a Super Nintendo emulator as well. Uh, I don't know what they're calling it, I forgot now, but, so it'll, it'll be interesting. They're supposed to be releasing it in June as well. So, who knows, you may see it very soon in the market. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the difference is, you know, what's, if there's one's better than the other.
See, I think right there, this is another another problem. I think April looked back to see the Statue of Liberty disappear, but there was nothing. You never saw the Statue of Liberty. So one thing I've seen in this game as well, there's problems where there's parts of the game that you just aren't showing up. They just, they're not on the screen. And actually, I got to the end of this game, and I couldn't, I just couldn't beat it because I don't know what's going on. Like, they're, whatever I need to be doing with Shredder is not on the screen. But, I mean, overall, you still can enjoy it. So yeah, there it is. Uh, all the games I've tried have worked, worked well. So um, I do recommend it. You can get it in the market. I think it's two ninety nine. The developer is Yong Z H. I think Y O N G Z H. Let's look for S N E S. Actually, see, I have had this weird problem sometimes where it seems like it's not. I'm pushing a button, but it's not going. But it's like few and far between. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what, but again, like I said, I mean, it, it does work decently. It's I recommend it. So check it out, S Nessoid, and uh, this is Shinobi123. Subscribe, rate, and comment later.